Today I've created a program which simulates how different populations spread out and mix over time. In the simulation there are four coloured factions, pink, red, black and white, each trying to expand. Each is made up of cells. A cell is a square which will move each clock cycle to a random space in a 3x3 three three radius. If the spot chosen is not green, the colour of the grass, then the cell will be destroyed. It will also spawn another cell in a random spot in a 3x3 three three radius on each clock cycle, which will follow the same rules of the, as the parent. Using this, over time the populations should spread out and fill the land given to them, similar to how fluid fills a container. Yet the cell's reproduction is asexual and mirrors mitosis or of bacterial growth. So we can say that each cell is a group of humans which produce other groups of humans. Also, for every 500 population a faction gets, a city will be built in a random location. This shows which factions are doing the best. If a different faction takes that city, then it will change colour. Using this tool to add extra land, we can see that the population fills all the available space given to them. There are also natural barriers such as rivers and lakes which the cells find a way around. Initially I wanted all the cells to be a single pixel, as to make the simulation more realistic. Yet as you can see here, as the population gets large, there are far too many cells for Pi game to handle, and there's a severe drop in FPS. This means it would take far too long for this simulation to work, and is not appropriate. If I change the size to very large, we can see that this is definitely a silly size, and doesn't show population growth at all. I found that the best value for size was 4x4 pixels, which is what I will use as I let the factions expand and fight each other. When all the factions have filled up the space, they start to slowly enter each other's lands and take each other's areas and cities. Yet it's a very slow process and the populations just integrate with each other, which is actually more similar to the real world. This is because I don't have any mechanics to let them actually fight, and I also don't have any evolution, so there isn't any advantage for one faction over another. I still think it's really fun to watch these factions grow across the maps and compete with each other. The small islands which have humans on are also quite interesting, as if they are too small, then the humans will wipe themselves out. As the cell's movement is only related to the colours they stand on, we can use other maps to study population spread. I created all the maps using paint.net and drawing over existing images available online. Here we have Westeros from Game of Thrones, so we can watch the houses battle it out. I also included the Wall of Ice, which is prohibiting the Black Faction from getting past, just like the Wildlings from the show. A city has also developed in a similar place to King's Landing. I also created a world map so we can study population growth over the entire planet, which I find really interesting. Here I use larger pixels, as the big map would have too many 4x4 cells for Pygame to handle. There are many extra features I can add, such as evolution of factions, disease, war, diplomacy, and a changing map, 
which would really improve the simulation. If you like the video or want to see me implement these features, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.